Hi, everyone. Um, just keeping an eye on time and recognizing that we are doing some back-to-back -back sessions. I'm going to go ahead and chat at you for a little bit, as I'm sure people are taking some breaks and getting some water, stretching their legs. Um, my name is Rachel Clifton. I'm the assistant director at the Wyoming Arts Council. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm coming to you from my home in overcast and rainy Laramie today. Um, I am a white woman in my mid thirties. I have chin length blonde hair and I'm wearing a dusty rose sweater because as, as Becca mentioned in the previous session, it is cold and dreary here today. So thank you all for joining us. Um, if we have some new folks on the call, I'm just gonna take a minute and go over our Zoom housekeeping rules. Um, if you need closed captioning, we do have live transcription available through Zoom and that's the CC live transcript button at the bottom of your screen. Um, please do keep yourself muted unless you are talking. Um, we will have some time at the end of this session for some questions and also kind of through, scattered throughout today's session. To give you a quick overview, um, I see some folks on here who are probably familiar with our previous CLIC conference that the Arts Council used to host and um, the 2020 session that we used to host for visual artists. So trying to shift this to a virtual format, as Mike mentioned, is not ideal, but we're going to do the best we can here today. So we have three artists signed up who each have some images to show with you. Each of their images will be up for 20 seconds. So these are lightning round presentations. They are going to be talking about their work throughout this. And when their last image goes off the screen, we will pause and move to the next artist. So it will be rapid fire. I would encourage you to use the chat feature to provide feedback. You can use the reactions buttons if you wanna clap or give thumbs up, um, provide any kind of support um, to the artists who are sharing their work with us today. You can also directly chat them by hovering over the three little dots that appear above their name and clicking on that and chatting at them directly. So you're welcome to do that as well. Um, and because we only have three artists signed up today, we're gonna make this a little more participatory than um, originally, <laughs> originally build. So when we get through the three presentations, we'll take a minute um, and put everyone in some breakout rooms with some prompts. So you have some time to share what you're working on or share what maybe inspired you from looking at, at some artwork today. So we're gonna kick things off. And did I see Jennifer is on the call? If you want to unmute and feel free to share your camera if you want people to see what, what you look like. Um, I think I've unmuted. Hi, everyone. <laughs> You have. And I am not Zoom knowledgeable, <laughs> but um, so I will probably not start a video. Okay. Um, if that's okay. Um, and I am from Casper. Okay. I'm going to mute myself, Jennifer, and kick it off. All right. Um, my name is Jennifer Johnson, and I am primarily an experimental oil painter in expressionism. This is a sideways red buffalo, and um, that one was painted from a buffalo, obviously by the side of a road. And then this is driving towards the East Gate and through the East Gate of Yellowstone. The last two were inspired by my trip to Yellowstone this summer. And it is more impressionistic than it is an actual, like, realistic picture. Um, I make things with a lot of texture so um, the flat screen doesn't always do it justice. Um, I'm only seeing the, oh there's the next one. 
This one is called Dreamer and it is um, also oil on canvas. Um, it has the addition of cold wax medium. Um, so it's got quite a bit of texture to it and it is an archeological study of a dream. This one is lost and it's pretty self-explanatory, um, but I didn't actually go through the weight loss surgery. So it's not a self-portrait, it's just a painting I did. Um, this one is called Wallpaper and it is oil on canvas and it is made with large amounts of oil left to dry um, and then um, strategically moved. This one is called Night Garden and it's been exhibited at Art 321 and it is inspired by my joy of fireflies. Um, I used to chase them around in my grandma's yard. This one's called Winter and it is um, oil, gold leaf, and on canvas. Um, the Obviously the sky is gold leafed and then it is um, a deeply textured uh, cold winter day. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. My apologies for not catching that. That first one should have been rotated as soon as you said it. I was like, there it is. <laughs> So next we have Juan, and I saw you join the meeting. So Juan, if you want to unmute. Yep. All right. Hi there. Um, I don't know what that screen's doing because I don't have anything to put into it. But anyway, I've been uh, doing film photography for, well, since 1968. Uh, I moved to Wyoming in 73. I still do film photography. And for the last 50 years, I've been living and visiting Denmark, and these are all photographs uh, from Denmark, portraits and scapes, uh, land and water. Um, in Denmark, you're like never very far from water, so landscapes are not, um, they're not um, just land. Um, and so I, what I do is I try to capture some character in people's, uh, um, in the people that I know from Denmark and uh, try to tell a story more about the culture and them personally. And it looks like all my pictures are gonna be portraits first and then the land and waterscapes afterwards. Um, I don't do digital. I can't afford it. Uh, and uh, I love working in the dark room. So these are all uh, taken. I'm going to just let them speak for themselves. Um, but they're all taken with film. And then the whole process of developing the film, proofing them, and then uh, choosing ones that have some character to me. Um, People ask me what I shoot, and I and I shoot uh, light and composition and light. And the subject matter is kind of incidental to me, although in this case it was uh, I chose two sub two basic subjects. And I had a show last winter in January that had uh, several more of these photographs, about forty photographs total of landscapes waterscapes and people. It's uh, Denmark's a very special place to me. It's probably more home to me in certain ways than Wyoming, although Wyoming is, it's more about the land and unique special people. Um, it's nice to be able to uh, actually show these in a different venue. I do have this whole show uh, online as well in a virtual gallery. If you Google search Juan Layden, you can find that um, probably on the first page. 
And there's music that goes along with it too. So you can see not only these 10 photographs, but uh, probably the other 30 or so that are in the show. And here's some nice Danish music, um, contemporary Danish music. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's about light and composition for me. And that's what I, I uh, work with. And I hopefully let the photographs speak for themselves mostly. I'm more than happy to talk about spe specific ones later with people because it's uh, there's plenty to say around an image, and if you're ask if you see an image and it moves you to ask questions, then well maybe it's telling you something more than what's in the image, and I'm glad to to uh, relate to that. All right, thanks, Juan. Yeah, thank you. Just keeping an eye on the chat in case there's any questions that are coming in. So our final artist for today is Denise Patton. So Denise, are you ready? I am. All right. Hopefully everyone can see me. Um, I'll let the images pass along here. Um, Part of the reason I'm doing this presentation is just to sort of acknowledge the work um, and to have a little bit more of a conscious understanding of the trajectory of my work. And um, I'm just turned 62 and I figure I've got, with any luck, another 20 years to, to horse around with the arts. and. Um, enjoy and experiment. The other thing that I'm looking toward is I've been really, I just uh, left a, a unrelated professional position a, a little bit ago. And I wanna see about doing it uh, in residency really anywhere in the world. And uh, so, but the thing is I work in, in a lot of different media. My background after original drawing and watercolor um, I worked with museums as a, a production artist, a, a director of a museum. Um, so there's a real mishmash. And I wonder, well, is that is that valid? Um, a current project I've got going um, is illustrating a book of poetry for a 93-year-old um, ex-physicist who I met at a spiritual retreat in the Wind River Range um, a few months ago. Uh, I am a recent uh, new member of a local cooperative with four members downtown at the Hines in Cheyenne. And that's really interesting for me. Um, some years ago, I did a, a real big mural, 100 feet long, about the history of uh, the military and its growth hand in hand with Cheyenne. And Desiree Brate with, was at DDA at the time. She was coordinator. I was worked with a graphic artist and with uh, a number of students on that project. So that was all good. Um, COVID project was an artist trading card project with 18 other artists. One, uh, the facilitator was out of Washington. So uh, the idea of exploration sings within me um, in depth. Uh, so I struggle with the idea of continuing in one media always. Um, I'm excited about materials. Um, although place, many of these have, have uh, quality of, of place, ink, uh, fluid media. Uh, the poetry I'm illustrating right now is uh, done with an ink and an eyedropper and very, very gestural. And it's, it's lovely to be able, and it's a long distance kind of collaboration. So um, 
I also uh, volunteered some years ago with a group. I just came in and did art with them um, that uh, they had had multiple suicide attempts and they were all lovely, lovely, lovely um, folks and very interesting. So um, Susan Sontag and um, Robert Venturi had interesting things about variety, um, variation, breeding, fret, and freshness, always feeling new at what I'm doing. Um, and indeed, I have a, a real hesitation with um, focusing on, on one material and one technique. And I wonder, am I wrong? Um, am I, uh, uh, this is just what I do. Um, and uh, things that have a personal significance like this particular work, this is my interpretation of my grandfather's backyard in uh, Belfour, South Dakota when I was a kid. This is what I remember. Um, hollyhocks and just old things. This is LaGrange, uh, a house in LaGrange. It was a, originally a, a trading card project, a very small, like business card size. And it was a trip, uh, uh, a diptych of uh, a yard in LaGrange. Um, and this is another kind of thing that I, that I have been that has been accessible, fairly small over the past several years, except for the big mural project. And uh, this one is in a, a private collection now, but they're all sort of postcard size for the most part. Um, that's an intaglio I did. Um, I, when I worked as, we did a history tour out of Carbon County and that's um, an etch on a plex plate that I, it's, um, I think there's it's one of one. Uh, so I struggle with what do I call it? So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Juan. Um, does anyone have any questions or comments that they'd like to, to throw out or share? Seeing lots of comments in the chat. Okay. I, uh, I like that last last image only because it was monochromatic and since I'm a black and white photographer, but I did I, I like your work, Denise, the um, the variety in the colors I like a lot. And I'm, I'm right now just reading uh, uh, a book on Soroya. Joaquin Soroya, which was, uh, he was uh, during the Impressionist, but much more representative painter in certain ways, but his big thing was light. And he was, some people say he was better than Turner or um, some of the other light for, uh, painters, but um, it's, I'm, I'm always excited to see other mediums in the visions that people have that way. Thanks, Juan. Well, if we don't have any other questions, oh, Sue Summers raised a hand. Go ahead, Sue. You need to unmute yourself. Oh, okay, here I am. Um, I just uh, wanna um, thank Juan, Denise, and um, our first person was, Jennifer. Jennifer, yes, uh, because uh, I think we all need to share our work with each other more, and that's hard to do in Wyoming. Um, it's also very nervous making. A lot of people are get very anxious about talking about their artwork, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, and, and we all face similar challenges. Um, and it's great to hear uh, these three artists talk about the things that challenge them. And, and uh, Denise, I was listening to you talk about like, am I wrong to do all these different kinds of media? And, and that's something I think 
we all question ourselves, those of us who are not focused on just one medium. And I, w- I had two thoughts about that. One is, you know, it, it, to be professional, you're supposed to focus, right? And do a body of work that is cohesive. Uh, and you're also supposed to always experiment. Um, so, y- you know, since most of us are not famous and picked up by major galleries anywhere, uh, the beauty of that is we can do whatever the heck we want. And, and that's a good thing. Uh, and we can also, over time, each of those experiments can build out to be a series of, of their own. So, you know, uh, we have a lot of options. And I just want to encourage all of you and anyone who didn't have a chance to share this time, maybe, maybe you didn't have time to get your images together, to think about doing that in the future. That's all I got. Thanks. Thanks, Sue. Thank you so 